everyone we're still in Iceland and uh, we're going through updates still uh, a lot of videos and updates it's nice to to break them up take a look at like individual updates uh, and kind of explore them in small videos and I'm impressed by Microsoft listening to the channel uh, some of these updates are voted on by the users and Microsoft has sort of picked them up and and delivered them uh, and they are you know there's some updates that should have been there a long time ago really cool updates uh, so I'm impressed uh, that's really cool to see well, let's take a look at the application hey let's take a look at some more uh, updates actually I'm really impressed with this April update I, I know that they have um, added a lot of things some things came late though they didn't come quite in April they've just been popping up um, like the smart list for example but uh, I want to go into one thing here if you go into the chart of accounts and in this one I thought it was really interesting so if I go into for example the checking account here just to see the transactions uh, these are some opening entries uh, very descriptive here let's say if I wanted to change something here now this is audit control right I can hit edit list. Hey, I'm in the general ledger entries. This is what we complain that you can do in QuickBooks, right? <laughs> okay, no, so not so fast. We cannot change any amounts, not, not add entries or delete entries. Uh, we can only change the description. So I can actually say here, deposit from uh, AB, ABC. And that's it. I can change it. Now, what happens here is that the change log uh, can actually record this. So it is does have an audit trail. Um, but, but yeah, you can change the descriptions in general ledger entries, which is quite nice. So another thing is um, if we go into sales and receivables, and I'm, I might not demo this function, but... Uh, Let's do it like this. Oops. Um, there is a way to actually have the um, the customer name copied to entries, and you can actually do this for uh, the item as well in the inventory setup. So if you actually check this off, the customer name gets copied. Um, to the customer ledger entries uh, during posting. So the customer ledger entries today, if you take a look at them, and I think that's really cool because uh, this is probably gonna fire up. Oh, yep. So here, for example, the description comes just the order or the invoice number here that it came from, but you can have the name come into the description instead of having it like this. Uh, you do have the document number here. So, yeah, interesting feature. I don't know. Maybe the, yeah, like this is, it's good to know which invoice it came from and then what it became. I don't know if the customer name is going to just be redundant if you do that. It'd be interesting to know how many people use that. So anyways, uh, these were a couple of nice entries. And on this, uh, I like to add, it's fantastic that Microsoft is cleaning up these little things, you know. I think the application was unchanged for uh, forever. Uh, and now it's um, it's going through, Microsoft is going through all these little things and kind of cleaning them up. And some of these are, are you know, user voted. So people have voted for this change. Um, and, and there's plenty. That was added and they've even announced uh, or starting to announce what's going to be in the october update so a lot of updates awesome for us well thanks for watching